Hi, I'm Erin Housing and I'm part of the World Book editorial team. Today I'm here to talk to you about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was one of the largest and most fearsome animals ever to walk the planet. It grew to about 40 feet, which is about 12 meters long, and stood about 12 feet or 3.7 meters tall at the hips, and weighed about 7 tons. It had razor sharp teeth as big as bananas and its jaws were so powerful that it could bite through solid bone. Tyrannosaurus is usually depicted as a fierce hunter, but not all scientists agree that it was an active hunter. Despite its enormous size and powerful build, some paleontologists think that the Tyrannosaurus may have survived entirely by scavenging on animal remains. These scientists point to the variety of evidence in support of this theory. Scientists believe that the Tyrannosaurus had an excellent sense of smell because fossils of its skull show that the parts of its brain dedicated to smell were quite large. It could have used its well-developed sense of smell to detect carcasses from far away. Vultures, which are modern scavengers, also have an extremely well-developed sense of smell. Tyrannosaurus had relatively small eyes. Most predators, which would have relatively large eyes, to help them spot and track prey. If Tyrannosaurus was a scavenger, having small eyes and relatively weak vision would matter less. Tyrannosaurus had also famously short arms. Many scientists question whether Tyrannosaurus could have grappled with prey with such short arms. As a scavenger, small arms would not matter. Unlike its arms, Tyrannosaurus had extremely powerful and large legs. The structure of its legs suggests that Tyrannosaurus was probably very efficient at walking long distances. This behavior would suit a scavenger because scavengers often must cover a lot of territory to find animal remains. Some scientists have questioned whether Tyrannosaurus could run quickly enough to hunt live prey. But again, if Tyrannosaurus was a scavenger, it would not need to run. Although some scientists find these arguments convincing, most believe that Tyrannosaurus was an active hunter. They point out that having short arms need not prevent an animal from hunting successfully. Some predators have no arms at all, such as snakes, and many birds rely only on their bills and their feet. In addition, many other meat-eating dinosaurs had small arms. Some had arms even shorter than the Tyrannosaurus, and many of these short-armed dinosaurs are thought to have been active hunters. These scientists also point out that the eyes of the Tyrannosaurus face forward, giving it binocular vision. Having binocular vision means that the view of each eye is combined to create a single image. This type of vision is typical of predators because it provides good depth perception and enables them to track prey. If Tyrannosaurus was only a scavenger, it would not have needed good depth perception. As for Tyrannosaurus' leg size and manner of moving, there is still much debate among paleontologists. Some research suggests that Tyrannosaurus may have been able to move very quickly in short bursts. The dinosaur may have waited in ambush until prey was near, then Tyrannosaurus could have burst from hiding and rushed at its prey, giving it little chance to escape. Perhaps the strongest evidence that Tyrannosaurus was an active hunter comes from the fossils of animals that were attacked by the dinosaur and lived to fight another day. For example, the bones of some fossils show bites that match the jaws of the Tyrannosaurus. In some cases, these wounds would have healed. This evidence suggests that the Tyrannosaurus attacked live prey. It is important to note that even if it did hunt for food, the Tyrannosaurus probably also scavenged on animal remains. After all, most large predators alive today scavenge for food if the opportunity presents itself. Tyrannosaurus is once depicted as a slow, clumsy, and unintelligent beast. Today, most scientists believe that Tyrannosaurus was a swift, powerful hunter that sometimes fed on animal remains. And the world has not seen such a hunter in more than 65 million years.